What's good everyone, it's Steve from Sneaker Tech Talk, back with another video today. For today's video, we will be taking a look at the Nike Zoom GT Cut 3 Bloodline. All right, so before we go over the shoes, really quickly, this shoe here is inspired by a shoe from the 1990s that Jason Kidd did wear. It is inspired by the Air Zoom Flight 5. Jason Kidd did wear them. Now the paneling on the shoe is inspired by that and just the overall colorway as well. So there are two other pairs. I believe it's the Air More Uptempo on the Hustle 2 and the Air Max Foam Posit, I believe. I could be wrong with the names there, but I'll show a picture of each of those. Um, I do have both of those coming in the mail, but I am very happy to have the Zoom GT Cut 3 in hand because this is definitely my favorite pair out of the three. But without further ado, let's take a look at the shoes. Now, if you don't know, I do have a full performance review of the Zoom GT Cut 3s on my channel. So check that out if you want to see how these perform on court. But with this pair right here, starting at the bottom, as far as the traction pattern goes, you do have a full length herringbone traction pattern from the toe all the way to the heel. Now the outsole is decoupled. The portion in the forefoot is kind of like a pearlized blue. And then the stuff in the heel is kind of like an off white. Both of them are more or less translucent and you are getting a very solid traction pattern here on the GT Cut 3. You will have to wipe every so often, but after you wipe, you'll be good for another four or five minutes of play. Um, it has a very loud squeak and overall just a really reliable traction pattern on the Zoom GT Cut 3. As far as the cushioning goes on this setup here, this is the debut of Nike Zoom X on a basketball shoe for Nike. Um, so the foam compound on the outside here, as you can see, this is actually a Phylon foam compound. And then in the heel and actually the whole bed underneath the insole, it is a Zoom X compound of foam. You can see it poking through right there underneath the insole. So this is the debut of Zoom X in a basketball shoe and how it performs on court is it does take some time to break in, but once it breaks in, it's very plush, not overly responsive in my opinion. It has a ton of impact protection, but overall it's a decent setup, not my favorite. Zoom Strobel is still my favorite thing that Nike has brought out in the last decade. Uh, Zoom X isn't bad. It does keep you really close to the floor and the heel offers a ton of impact protection. So if you've worn Zoom X in Nike running shoes, you can expect something similar, but just more stable because it is caged on the outside with that file on midsole. So overall, the cushioning is pretty decent. It does take some time to break in, but it's really nothing groundbreaking compared to like Zoom Strobel. The first time I did wear that, it was just really shocking as far as how it felt on foot. But again, this will take a little bit of time to break in, especially that Phylon midsole on the outside. So as far as the materials go on the Zoom GT Cut 3, starting at the back of the shoe right here, you do have a screen mesh right here where you kind of have those perforations. You also have some synthetic nubuck or suede material here on the green panels. And then everything else right here is kind of a cheap, kind of synthetic material, really nothing nice for the price point. If you didn't know, these come in at 200 USD. Uh, the standard price of the Zoom GT Cut is 190. They did raise the price for this all-star game colorway. And then right here, you kind of have some fuse portions that are blue, and that does run along the side of the shoe, kind of mimicking the Air Zoom flight paneling. And then you also kind of have this iridescent, um, almost like medallion that says GT with a swoosh. You have another swoosh right here at the toe. And then the toe box material is like a really cheap felt that does run all the way up the tongue as in white and then navy at the top of the tongue. On the medial side, more or less the exact same. You have some stitching here uh, for some extra support and then more or less that really cheap perforated material with the screen mesh on the back side of the medial side as well. So overall for the $200 price point, um, I'm not very happy with that as far as the materials go because I would have preferred like a really nice leather here at the toe box running up the tongue if you're going to use a raw material. I think putting uh, leather on a $200 basketball shoe would have been a nice touch but overall this material does break in really quickly. It performs well as far as performance goes. 
I've really had no issues and I've been hooping in my GT Cut 3s kind of even after I did the performance review because it is a very reliable shoe. So I can't wait to get these on court. But as far as the materials go, again, pretty much no break in time. As far as sizing goes for the Nike Zoom GT Cut 3, I'm usually a size 10 and a half or 11 in my Nike basketball shoes. And for these, I went with a size 10 and a half and my toe is seated right here at the end of the shoe. So very much near the end of the shoe. As far as the width goes on these guys, I do think they're wide foot friendly and they do break in rather quickly. Um, if you can try these on in store, I think that would be the best bet. So if you have a standard size foot, I would say go true to size. If you have a really wide foot, maybe go up half a size. Another thing to do with the fit is the tongue. The tongue is gusseted, so it is connected from about right here all the way down. So it's not gonna be twisting or turning on you at all as far as the fit goes. It's a very thin tongue that has a ton of perforations, so it's pretty comfy on foot. The back of the shoe has a ton of padding here at the back, a ton of foam, so it's very comfortable on foot. So again, as far as the sizing goes, I went true to size and I really had no issues. It's a very snug one-to-one -one fit. As you can see right here, the toe box is very tapered. So there's not a lot of extra volume in this basketball shoe. So just how I like it, a very snug fit in the Nike Zoom GT Cut 3. As far as the support goes in the Zoom GT Cut 3, they do offer a ton of support for a very lightweight, low top basketball shoe. So starting at the back of the shoe, you do have a very rigid and sturdy uh, internal heel counter here at the back of the shoe. Now, when you move your way forward to the front of the shoe, you do have this rubberized portion that does run up on the lateral side. Now that's kind of caging your foot with inside the shoe and your foot actually sits ever so slightly within this midsole. So when you make those hard lateral cuts, your foot will not be spilling over the side of the footbed. Now on the lateral side and the medial side, you actually have these flywire cables that do run through the bottom two eyelets. So if you do really crank those eyelets down, they will kind of hug your foot like a seat belt towards the bottom of the shoe. Yeah. All of these features are really gonna help aid your foot and keep your foot on the footbed on those hard lateral cuts. As you can see right here in the forefoot, it is very wide and stable and it does flare out right here. You do have an outrigger, so that's gonna help prevent your foot from teetering over if you land awkwardly or if you land on someone's foot. And then you also have this plastic TPU shank plate that does offer adequate torsional rigidity in my opinion. And that does run into the forefoot. So it does offer a very nice springboard like effect when you do take a step here in the Nike Zoom GT Cut 3. So overall, as far as the support goes, it's adequate. On court, I really had no issues. And I was actually quite surprised on how supportive this shoe was considering its very lightweight nature. Really quickly, as far as this colorway goes, being inspired by the Air Zoom Flight 5 that Jason Kidd did wear back in the 90s. Overall, this is my absolute favorite colorway of the Nike Zoom GT Cut 3 so far. Um, it's just a travesty that it comes in at $200. I do think you'll be able to get these on sale eventually um, because I don't think a ton of people are gonna be wanting to pay that $200 price point. But for me, I really love this colorway and I just had to get them on court as soon as possible. Another thing I didn't mention is on the tongue, you have this patch, the old school Nike team patch, and that's actually on the inside of the insole as well right here. So more or less, this is just a reimagined Air Zoom flight on the Zoom GT Cut 3. And I absolutely love what the brand is doing, kind of bringing back some old basketball shoes on some new models. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the Zoom GT Cut 3, especially in this white and navy colorway. So that's gonna do it for today's video on the Nike Zoom GT Cut 3 in the Bloodline or the All-Star Weekend colorway. Getting these on court this weekend, but let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these. Are you guys looking forward to grabbing a pair of this All-Star Weekend colorway? Or are you just gonna be waiting until they go on sale or a better colorway to drop? So let me know down in the comments what you guys think. As always, if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, that really helps my channel a ton. And as always, check out my Instagram at Sneaker Tech Talk, as it is an extension of my YouTube channel with all my pickups, basketball footage, and nostalgia as a whole. As always, thanks for watching today's video, and until next time, peace.